Okay, so uh, to diagnose code 11 uh, on a Kawasaki ZX-10R, um, I'm going to use a multimeter, some test leads, and two small pieces of wire. So uh, let's get it started. Okay, so uh, code 11 can be uh, triggered by uh, three things. Bad throttle position sensor, bad wiring going to the throttle position sensor and bad ECU. So first we're going to test the wire harness. Uh, you're going to need to remove the airbox so you're uh, able to get to the uh, throttle position sensor. Then you just press the clip and unplug the sensor. Uh, the harness has three wires. Blue is a 5 volt reference brown would be uh, sensor ground and uh, yellow would be sensor output so let's get this tested and make sure uh, we don't have any problems with the uh, wire and harness for that we're gonna need small leads First, we're going to test the, uh, the 5 volt reference wire, the blue one. For that, I'm going to put one of the uh, test wires attached to a blue wire. I'm going to attach a test lead to that wire. I'm going to attach that lead to the uh, multimeter like so then I'm gonna take the black lead and I'm gonna attach it to a battery ground post or any good ground okay next you're gonna have to turn the ignition on take the voltmeter and put it to measure a voltage you should be getting from 4.75 to uh, 5.25 volts if you're not getting the uh, voltage then you have a wire harness issue or a bad ECU in this case we're getting 5.02 volts perfect let's go ahead and turn off the ignition and turn off the uh, voltmeter Next we're going to test the ground circuit which is a uh, brown wire and uh, since we already tested the uh, the 5 volt reference uh, wire uh, we can use that for testing. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to insert a test wire into uh, connected to the brown wire and then I'm able to hook up a ground wire from the multimeter to that like so next we're gonna turn the uh, voltmeter into voltage and turn on the ignition. We should be getting 5.02 volts. If you're not getting the voltage, that means that the uh, ground circuit is bad and uh, you're gonna have to trace it down. You might have a break in the wire. Uh, it might be a uh, bad ECU as well. So, so far so good. Let's go ahead and turn the ignition off. Turn the multimeter off and unplug the test wires and we can move up to next test. Okay for next test uh, we're going to test the resistance of the uh, throttle position sensor itself. Um, I had a damaged set of throttle bodies from a 2005 Kawasaki ZX-10R. So I'm going to use it, that way uh, it's easy to see. 
Um, the sensor has three wires, a blue one, which is a, a five volt reference voltage, a black one, which is a ground sensor, and the yellow one, the output. So we're going to measure resistance between a yellow and a blue wire. So let's go ahead and uh, hook up the test leads to the sensor. Okay, so I got the uh, test leads connected to the yellow and blue wire. Going to turn on the uh, multimeter into uh, measure resistance. With the uh, throttle body closed, we're getting uh, 4.6 uh, kilo ohms of resistance. It should be between 4 and 6 kilo ohms. If, uh, if you're getting something more than 6 or uh, less than 4, then the uh, throttle position sensor is bad. Next, I'm going to cycle the butterflies and I'm going to look what the resistance is doing it should be going down <coughs> so let's go ahead and do this i'm going to put it like so that way we can see it's slowly going down Go back up. Okay, uh, if it's going back to zero or the values don't change or they uh, instead of going down they're going up then you have a bad sensor this one jumps around at around two kilo ohm it it goes to a zero so that it tells me that the uh, throttle position sensor is bad and that's what was causing the uh, code 11 so I'm just gonna have to replace the uh, throttle bodies uh, with the uh, throttle position sensor. So now we figured out what was uh, causing it. Time to get to work. <laughs> 